Dr. Toyland. All right, so let's check out the new Mythic Legion's War of the Etherblade 2 pack. So I don't really know a lot about these characters, if I'm supposed to or not. I'm still relatively new to the Mythic Legion's line, but I saw this, I had pre-ordered it, it finally arrived, pretty excited for it. I mean, if you're familiar with this line, which I'm sure you are if you're watching this video, right? A lot of this is pretty much repaints of a lot of stuff like the, the armor, but you got all this really nice gold and blue and red on there. And this dude, he's got all this, you know, black with the gold and the red. Very cool, right? So here we have Attila and Gorgo, right? So I'm assuming this is a good guy. This is a bad guy. All right, you got all this cool stuff in there. Bunch of heads back there. We're going to open this up in a second, really see what's going on in here. But for right now, this is what we're looking at. This is the box. Got a little, little blurb on the side. On the back, you got a little blurb about each character, it looks like. Yep. On the side, you have the, I guess, the factions they're from. Some advertising, right? Very cool. And be warned, this is a choking hazard. It says so right here, so don't try to eat these. Okay. All right, so here they are all out of the package and all ready to rock and roll, right? So let's check out Gorgo first, right? Again, these parts you should be pretty familiar with. They look pretty much like a lot of stuff we've seen before, except he's got this really sweet paint job, right? He's got this really, you can't really see it from the package, but this red paint here has this cool little, like a black wash over it. So it's all the grooves are filled with this nice dark. So it really accents the, the paint job nicely. The horns are more of a, a natural look. Just like that. And these also come off and stuff like that, obviously. All right. Got our neck brace. Oh, this is actually pretty interesting. The head, the neck piece right here is actually a, like a blacked out skull neck peg, which is pretty neat. I wasn't really expecting that. I lost his head. There it is. All right, pop that back on. There's your horn, sir. There it is. Okay. So again, pretty much you've seen a lot of this stuff before. Just a nice, cool repaint of it. But I really like this this matte kind of finish to the black body, which is really nice. It's little details down there, which is really cool. But we want to see his accessories, right? That's what I want to see. So he's got these crazy shoulder armor here. Really nice looking gold paint. Now the paint apps on him specifically, they look pretty good. I was going to say they look a little sloppy, but maybe not. I mean, maybe a couple of different areas, but whatever. I don't really care. We'll put those on in a moment. He also comes with this crazy axe. A little curious why the axe, I guess, is silver and not gold, just because the rest of him is kind of decorated with that black and gold. But looks pretty good, though. Pretty standard axe. It's got this crazy sword. Really cool deco on this. It's got the, you know, just a little touch of gold, the red. It's just a, just a cool looking sword. <laughs> what else to say about that? My favorite is this badass shield. I mean, look at this thing. This is cool. They started doing these crazy things with the shields. They started putting these big, chunky things on them. And I, and I love it because they're just so over the top and like badass looking. It's a weird little demon face with the horns and ears and oh, good stuff. They each come with these little, you know, the standard straps. So if you want to get crazy with these, those are in there also. Each one comes with a cape. So it looks like um, one of them looks to be slightly larger. So the larger one looked like it was for Attila, and this one is for Gorgo over here. So it's a little bit of a shorter cape. They are wired, so you could do all sorts of crazy fun poses with them. So let's check out Attila. Here he is looking all, all liony and fun. Now the pay apps on this guy are my opinion a little better than the other one but 
he's got this really nice gold look and he's got you know, just the, the blue and the red and little touches like silver in there and you can see his face his face is just i mean the the paint apps and all the faces for mythic legions are usually pretty good so i mean you should be pretty well expecting what that is right this is pretty cool too i know some of the newer figures also they have the uh the loincloth pieces with the fabric ones are wired which is just gives you more ability to do things with it Woo! okay backside so he's actually got one of these cool belts that have the the loops in them so you could put like swords and stuff something i noticed before too is he comes with some alternate head slash faces so this is a helmetless head he just looks all brooding and menacing and ready to ready to kick some ass right so he comes with the the flesh colored neck peg because the one on here is like armored and, and gold right he also comes with this this face, like like just like, just a face, right? And then it turns out you could take this, the front of the helmet piece off, All right? So it looks like that, and this face comes right off, just like that. You can put the alternate one on there. I said on there. There we go. Now, I guess the the difference between these two faces is this one seems to have a little bit of a darker beard, and this one's maybe a little more frowny. I can't really tell. He doesn't look happy in either one, but I mean, I wouldn't want to meet him in an alleyway anyway, right? Put that right on top. Boom. Very cool. Very cool. And he also comes with his fancy lion shoulder armor here look at that gold a little bit of red just very uh like very interesting looking i guess just a little paint wear over there i don't know what happened there but okay very cool shield also very awesome it's got this cool like as a helmed lion of some sort gold you have the two different variations of red and, and kind of dark in the dark red in the in the background there the shield boom that's very cool this cape a little longer also wired so you could do fun action poses sword we love swords right sword and sheath got some good gold and silver deco on there some red on the handle and this guy could also fit right in his you know, right in the uh, little straps. Do, 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 do. So, whatever way you want to do that, but boom. Fits in there pretty nicely. And we all want to see this hammer, right? This very weighty hammer, which you could actually probably do some damage to someone with. Like in real life, if you knock them on the knee or something like that, right? It's a nice heavy duty hammer. We got some lion deco on the side. We got some lion deco on the front and the back, which is the same. Got some weird little orby looking thing on top. So a very, very heavy duty hammer. All right, so let's see these guys all armored up and decked out and looking fun. All right, so here they are all, all uh, armored and weaponed up and all that fun stuff. A couple things to note. This hammer is very heavy. I wasn't even joking before, like dead serious. If you tilt him the wrong way, I was kind of foot forward, but you just be careful how you pose him because he will fall over. And if he's holding it with one arm, it's going to be very difficult for him to pose properly. So either you have to use some kind of stand or some kind of foot peg if you want him to have the hammer with the shield. Unless you want to use the shield with just the sword, give him more of a, just like a straight on warrior kind of pose. But with this giant hammer, you know, you might want to, <laughs> he's got to hold it with two hands. Let's put it that way. Otherwise he will fall over, right? Uh, I do like, by the way, how they've changed, at least with these figures anyway, the uh, the capes. Because I don't know if you're familiar with the other capes they used to use. They kind of just uh, plug them in the back pegs by, by the shoulder armor. This one, for this figure specifically, has these little, these little elastic loops right here. 
and they actually go around the front of this armor piece right here. Okay, so the, nothing's actually plugged in the back here, which I like a lot because I think the other capes kind of looked a little awkward sometimes. They didn't always necessarily fit right, but with these nice, you know, wired capes and this new way of doing it like here, it just works very, very well. And I really, really like it. So that's very cool. Um, similarly, but different, we have our fellow over here and the cape, let's take this stuff off real quick. By the way, this guy, I don't know, for whatever reason, hopefully yours doesn't do the same is that his limbs seem to come off very, very easily. Like you don't even have to heat them up. His hand just comes off. I was doing this before. Elbow comes out, right? I mean, listen. Not really happy about that. I think his limbs should stay on. <laughs> you know, when you pose them, they shouldn't be falling out like that, but I guess it is what it is, right? So the um, this one right here is actually connected to two different spots, the cape. So right under here, if you can see right on the chest armor itself is a little like hook. So it's got one little elastic hoop that goes into there. And then the other one does connect on the back. Now, I don't think you necessarily need the one on the back, but it's there, extra support. And again, you can do some pretty wild poses with the uh, with the wired cape. So, also with this guy, for whatever reason, is is you know, his horns keep falling off. Maybe it's just me. Hopefully, it's just my figure that the joints kind of suck. But we don't want everyone's figures falling apart, right? Not unless you want them to. Where is my hand? I am, there we go, see? I am your father. No, it's not possible. No, wrong, 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 very wrong. Okay, so that is that. This is Attila, Mr. Gorgo. They are fun. If you pre-ordered them, you're lucky because that's the thing as of right now, they are not currently available. So maybe at some point soon, you'll be able to get your hands on these. And I would recommend it. I mean, this guy alone, it's just so awesome looking. Let's just pop his head off real quick too. Before we get going, boom. Turn that down off. Get my nice head. See, I always like the human heads on these guys. I just like the helmetless heads. I just think they look so cool. Probably because we don't have a lot of them, really, unless you're you know getting this individual characters. But there's not a, like when you buy like all the the Legion builders, they don't really have the basic faces, things like that. So I really like the ones that do. Anyway, Attila. Gorgo, it's the War of the Etherblade two pack. Rawr. All right, take care. <laughs> it belongs in a museum.